Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart Super Circuit. This time it's Retro Star Cup and just like the Super Circuit Star Cup, it starts off with a killer. This is Vanilla Lake 1. If you've been watching my Mario Kart LPs, you will know just how much of a hard time I had with not only this cup, but this level in particular. If you know, if you Mario Kart pros will already know that there are a load of ice cubes about. I get lucky on the first lap but they do become a pain. Now, how have they made this course easier? Well, again, just like the Mario Circuits, they have taken out the green pipes, and <laughs> I get hit by a red shell there, unfortunately. Uh, the green pipes were at the end here, and they may not have seemed like a big obstacle, but they were for me. I kept bumping into them, so I'm glad they're gone. But I hit Peach with a boo, you hit a random player, I think, with the boot. I'm not sure. It might be first place. So Peach slows down and it, mani it helps me to get into the lead. As Mario and Yoshi try and climb all over me, makes a change from uh, them trying to climb over, over each other. <laughs> Mario rides that Yoshi way too much to be no normal, believe me. <laughs> but I'm challenging my uh, my broski, Yoshi. He's, he's still trying to beat me. He's still in the lead. I do have the mushroom, but unluckily... I cannot pass him, I do not have enough uh, distance to pass him. So even though my last three laps were amazing, I start the Star Cup with a loss. I am not happy. I am behind for the first time in this LP, but you know, me and Yoshi, we're cool. I'll get him back later, he won't mind. As we enter Bowser's Castle, again, it's Bowser's Castle 3. <laughs> Are you getting bored of Bowser's Castles yet, guys? I kind of am, but hey, it's all good, because we have more square corners, more thin roads, and lots more bumping. <laughs> now again, this course was very infamous in my uh, Super Mario Kart LP, because this straight here had four thwomps at the end of it, blocking the way. And this bit as well was a pain in the ass. All the thwomps are gone. It is a godsend, because you can just drive right by. And Mario and Yoshi again are ahead, but then that... Oh, oh so annoying, Peach uses the lightning bolt and kicks our ass, but hey, it gets rid of Mario, it gets rid of Yoshi, and I am kind of in second place, even though I'm now, yeah, I'm still in second place, Mario's in the lead, I don't mind that, I've got nothing against Mario, I will pass him, believe me, if it takes me all day, I will pass him, I think I pass him here, do I? No, I pass him soon, don't you worry guys. Uh, as far as this bouncy bit at the start, just take the inside route, it's quicker. The other characters may seem to be quicker going on the outside route, but the inside route is the quickest route, believe me. And I'm still struggling though, I really want to pass Mario, why won't the game let me? It's because I'm bumping into oh, so many corners, but I still have 4th and 5th lap to go, and I get the red shell I need, but then another lightning bolt hits, and I don't know who did it, it's not Peach this time, thankfully. Oh god, but hey, we're in the lead now, we're doing it and I still have my red shell. That lightning bolt helped, kinda. But then Mario takes it back and then Yoshi runs into my red shell, so still Mario gets away with it. So it's final lap, it's last chance saloon for Toad. Can he take Mario out? Mario has a banana skin, gotta dodge that. I power to slide into this turn and I'm need this win because I didn't win the first one and it's a straight drive to the finish and I come second. However, as Mario didn't win the first race, it doesn't matter that much. You remember Yoshi came first, so all the scores should be even at this point, I think. Yep, 12-12-12, which is all good. So whoever wins the next course will get championship advantage. What's the next course? It's Mario Circuit 4. Um, now what I mean by championship advantage is, I explained it in one of the earlier episodes. If the player and the computer character have the same number of points at the end, the player will always win. Now in order for me to get championship advantage, I need a three point lead, because that means, say if Mario, um, is in, say if Mario comes second and I come first in this course, that means I can let Mario win and I can come second and then that means we'll be on equal points and uh, I will win the Gold Cup. So by winning this I will get championship advantage for sure. 
And I'm doing well. I managed with the lightning bolt that happened. I didn't even need to talk about it. And I go past all the easy corners. There is no green shells on any of the Mario circuits anymore. So it is all good. I've got the speed boost coming out of the power slides. Everything is great. Until I almost get hit by a red shell. But I do go on the sand quite a lot. I don't know why. I got a bit edgy on this track. But luckily sand doesn't slow you down that much if you're jumping. So make sure if you do go off road, Get your jumps in, you hop over most of the sand, it doesn't slow you down as much. But anyway, I'm winning by a mile, Mario is behind me and... Excuse me, <laughs> I keep having to burp and it's, it happens every time I need to record. <laughs> but anyway, back to the serious stuff, I have a red shell, I'm happy, I'm cruising, I am cruise. i hit, hit that back wall again which is a pain in the ass. But I'm doing great, and uh, Mario is the only threat, and he's about a corner away from me. So as long as I drive this last one well, I'm okay. Mario's firing red shells at me. I, I, I'm, I'm cool. I'm happy with that. I do have the green shell to defend me, and I do have a chance to lap Donkey Kong again, which seems to be my favourite thing at the minute. Can I do it? Well, no, unfortunately. He gets away with it. He does come eighth. He doesn't get lapped. But hey, I come first, and that gives me the three-point lead, the championship advantage that I need. That means that if I come second to Mario in the next uh, course, I will get automatic gold cup. We'll have the same points, but I will get the gold cup. So it's always good to head for a tie. And we end it on one of my most hated courses, Ever. This is Donut Plains 3. I think I called it Donut Plains 4 earlier in the LP. I meant Donut Plains 3. I hate this course. This course can go to hell. It's all of the slip sliding fun that you had in all the other Donut Plains, but it's mixed with thin roads and bridges which have jumps on them and all that jazz. Thing is though, they have made it slightly easier as I get hit by a red shell from Yoshi. Come on Yoshi, we're brothers man, we, should, we shouldn't be fighting. <laughs> this bridge is made easy, you don't have to jump over it yourself, you can just use the bumper and because I'm so mad at Yoshi I decided to take uh, a dip in the pool just to cool off because that's the nice guy I am. <laughs> It, they've also added an icon there, so you're able to get the uh, the item that you need. I got the three red shells, and it helps me take out a few of these guys. I get back into third, and luckily I am blessed with another mushroom, and this time I do it right. I slow down, I don't fall into the water, and I use it to get another item as well, which is three green shells. It means I can defend, and this is perfect for me. I only need to come second to Mario to win the Gold Cup, so with three green shells, I'm defending third place well. But I got hungry. I wanted first place. This course has plagued me for so long, I needed to show it who's boss. And with Yoshi tailing behind me, man I managed to get rid of him finally, but that Starman came close. But I want this win. I want to take Mario out, so I chase him. And I have this red shell, and I need to, I need to let... I need to release it now, but I get hit by Peach's red shell. Damn you, traitorous woman! <laughs> She's ruined me again. So thanks to um, the annoying pink lady that is Peach. See, this is why I hate her. She always foils my plans. God, I hate her. But thanks to her, I have to take second place. Unfortunately, that championship advantage does help. It's 27-27. It is technically a tie, but also it is technically a win to me. So hooray, I get the gold cup. Mario uh, has to deal with silver. And Peach is nowhere to be found, thank the Lord. Ooh, but anyway, I did so poorly on that cup, it is unbelievable. But Star Cups do have a nasty uh, way of being very difficult. As you can see... I came second on three courses, which isn't great, but what can you do? But anyway, it's the final cup in the next episode of Let's Play Mario Kart Super Circuit. See you later, guys.